American men get a chance to uh, play host to open up this tournament. Of course, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's see if the pressure's on with the women picking up three points in the in the first match. See if the men can can match that. Of course, the men's uh, side of the draw. There's 28 teams. There's seven different uh, little. Uh, nodules uh, of, of teams that are being separated by groups of four, and so it'll be really interesting to see who can advance into the uh, round of 16. Yeah, speaking of advancing, I just was notified that games that end in shootouts, the winning team actually picks up two points, the losing team picks up one. So if you win the game in regulation time, you can walk away with three points, two points if you win in the penalties, one point if you lose in the penalties, zero if you lose in regulation. So again, if you wish to donate to this great cause, lower left hand of your screen, homelessworldcup.org slash donate, just click on the QR code as well. That'll take you to all the information. Such an amazing event. So many people donated so much time and effort and money to make this possible. And if you can help out, uh, certainly a great, great cause. As we're underway here in the second game of the first day of competition, as USA and Indonesia will try to get their first wins here in the tournament. Indonesia starting off with a high press, very high press, quick to get there. And if you notice, a, a little bit different here in that Indonesia is actually keeping a player back and not using the numerical advantage by bringing the 3v2. Clearly they want to prevent the vertical play and transition. There's an early foul. Yeah, a couple early fouls, and we'll see if anybody gets sent off the uh, the pitch for any period of time here. But I think right there shows fair play. The foul came there. The player from Indonesia goes over to the U.S. player and gives him a hug. Shot on goal, deflected. And here comes Indonesia the other way. It's going to be interesting to see the substitution patterns for both of these teams. We saw two very different patterns or tactics in the previous game. So we'll see if, uh, if Indonesia or the US go with a little bit more rolling subs quickly throughout the game. Yeah, I get two seven minute halves. And the piece of play is gonna be very quick. And this one is we have our first goal. What a shot off the crossbar it is. And if you notice, Indonesia's goalkeeper quickly playing out, so turning that page quickly. Yeah, there was no waste of time getting the ball back in play. No. What a shot, though. It ricocheted just off the crossbar and went over the line. And I'm assuming just like in regular football, the ball has to go entirely over the line. Is that correct? Yeah, entirely over the line. Another shot on goal and a nice save by the Indonesian goalkeeper. U.S. on the attack with the lead. Great pass between two defenders, sets up the goal. That was a nifty little pass. And I think this is where we're more accustomed to the higher scores. Obviously, a lot of goals early in this game, two and a half minutes in, and we've already seen two outstanding goals by the U.S. side. Yeah, the USA in great form to start this tournament. And another goal. And there's a third. And if you've noticed, Indonesia is now taking that player that they kept back, and they're now they're attacking with three, trying to get that numerical advantage. I think now they're going to have to chase the game a little bit. But just as quickly as the U.S. scored, Indonesia could also do the same. That's the thing. There's no safe lead in street soccer. That's the second goal that, or second shot that Indonesia's hit well over the goal. And there's the fourth goal by the U.S. USA entertaining the home crowd for sure. It's been an early onslaught of goals for the American side. Well, there's a little contact there. US ball. Indonesia has it with an advantage, but another shot over goal. Yeah, the biggest thing Indonesia needs to do is at least force the goalkeeper to make some saves. Right now, they don't even have a chance at rebounds or, or balls off the the wall or the post because they've been hitting it so high over. Yeah, they have See if they can take advantage of this, and there it is. Finally, a shot on goal, and it goes through a tremendous shot with the left foot. 
see how the U.S. reacts to this. They're going to try to respond early with a with another goal. Oh, they almost have it there. Yeah, great opportunity. Ball just kicked high. So the, the goalkeeper hit it out. Beyond the goal line starts with the goalkeeper, U.S. goalkeeper. So we're four and a half minutes into the first half of this one. The USA with the four to one lead. So if you notice there, the U.S. played the ball back twice to their goalkeeper. Had they played it back a third time, Indonesia would have gotten a penalty kick. Foul there in the corner for grabbing the boards. That is not allowed in street soccer. Indonesia going a little bit more direct, however, over hitting the ball. That's the second one that's gone beyond the wall and into the net from the goalkeeper. Yeah, they're trying to stretch it down the field, but it hasn't been successful so far. The U.S. is doing a really good job swinging the ball, and there you go. Great kick. The left foot right in the corner. It's almost like the U.S. is trying to isolate one player to go 1v1 while keeping the other players on the far side. The U.S. strategies work to perfection in this one. Got about a minute and a half here in the first half. Let's see if Indonesia can respond. And even going down, you know, three goals instead of instead of four can change the second half approach. Indonesia now on the front side, a quick goal and a diving save. Big time save for the American goalkeeper. And, and that's one of the things I was talking about there is that Indonesia has to keep the ball in play because there's another opportunity for a rebound. Oh, big save there. But even with big saves, it allows Indonesia to have a second chance. Yep. Uh, just nobody home on that crossing pattern right there. But as we said, no players allowed in the crease, so it's really hard to have crossing passes. Yeah, it also makes it difficult to defend as well because the, the tendency is like if your goalkeeper's in, a, in the near post angle, you want to drop in to defend the back post. However, that's not allowed here. Yeah, and obviously with the player in the front court at all times, there's no offsides in street soccer. See, there it is. They're finding that open player. The U.S. has done really good with that throughout the first half. About 30 seconds left. Yep, they found a lot of seams. It looks like that was a deflection off the goalkeeper. The U.S. with the ball here at the corner. We are approaching the end of the first half, but not before another USA goal. Big, big lead for the U.S. going into the halftime, up by five. It'll be interesting to see what Indonesia does to enter the second half. That was a statement first half by the USA. Definitely. They said, hey, we're the host country. We're going to come out. We're going to take a lot of shots, and we're going to find the back of the net. Boy. We know that the other teams are on watching, and if you're Mexico right now, you're Brazil, you're some of the other favorites, you're like, okay, we've got some competition. Got Plenty a lot of highlights here coming in from the first half. Obviously, a lot of goals. Um, we saw great angles from with the camera from behind the goal. But you can see a lot of those opportunities that the U.S. had were unmarked players, so they really took advantage of finding that extra player in attack. Yeah, yeah tremendous job. Here is the Indonesian goal. It came off the American turnover. And that's going to be something common is that if teams can take advantage of the turnover, just because of the, the speed of play, t teams will turn the ball over. It's can you capitalize quickly on those is, is something that could make the difference here. We'll see what Indonesia does with their tactics. Since you can't really push every player forward, um, we'll see what happens. Because I think they're still afraid of that counter one of their players still kind of plays a little deeper, even when they're in the 3-2. So the USA squad back out on the pitch. They are ready to go. Looks like they've made a change. Indonesia obviously regrouping a little bit, trying to figure out what they can do to stem the tide. I'd be curious to know what the coach is telling them right now. What would you be telling if you were the Indonesian head coach? I would tell them, hey, let's get shots early, but also let's make sure that we keep each one on frame. The two that they had on frame outside of the goal 
the goalkeeper had to make really good saves and couldn't hold on to the ball. So once you do that, make sure you're as tight to the crease as possible so you can look for that knockdown rebound. Second half underway, and the referee throws it in on the Indonesian side. We're underway. I think this is a, an important thing, is that the U.S. is really doing a good job to make it predictable, where they're taking away the two open players so the goalkeeper knows, okay, there's only one guy that's going to hit the shot right now. Yeah, but it looks like a change in the Indonesian goal as well. Yeah, there's a change there. We'll see if that, if that makes a difference. See if this goalkeeper might be more comfortable with their feet or what the coach wanted to get out of this. Or maybe it's because it's early group stage. Hey, let's get both goalkeepers in and see how they're feeling, which one has a better rhythm right now. Indonesia a good on the attack. Ball. What a shot. It's good. Indonesia gets the first goal of the second half. And that was a really good ball to, to break every line by the U.S. And obviously good composure by that finish. Yeah, great angle shot that time. Here we go, let's see if they can take advantage of this. Good defensive movement. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Indonesia's come out a different team here in the second half. Yeah, they're definitely looking, looking for shots. And I think the biggest difference in the minute that's already passed in the second half is keeping the shots on frame. Indonesia with the takeaway, trying to get it into the front half. Oh, let's see if the U.S. can take advantage of this. Indonesia had their numbers for it. Oh, looks like there's a little, little pass that went here. Uh, oh. Foul call. So I'm assuming all of these are free kicks, correct? Well, they're, yeah, the, the fouls there are free kicks, yep. and then the other ones are obviously the ball goes out, then it's a, a ball. Sure. Let's see what they do here. You notice uh, the goalkeeper was almost ready to step out there, but obviously can't step out of the crease. A little bit different style already with the goalkeeper making the pass from their half. If you notice this goalkeeper played the ball low yep. and gave it a chance by playing off the rebound. The Indonesian goalkeeper in the first half tried to play more of a chip ball, which didn't work, unfortunately, because it was playing high into the net. Well, Indonesia definitely has got the momentum here. Their second goal of the second half. They're within three, plenty of time still here, Chris. Oh, see if they can capitalize on here. No foul call. See if the U.S. can turn it on this side. Oh, off the post. Now, if I'm the U.S. and you've given up two goals here in the, in the second half, I'd say, hey, look, let's slow the game down a little bit. Let's try to find a rhythm and not give up any early chances or any more chances to the Indonesian side. Yeah, the American team certainly slowing it down a little bit, but they turn it over, get it right back. Even here, just find the extra player, just move the ball, right? force them to have to step to you and commit. Because right now, they can kind of run a zonal, obviously being down one, one outfield player, it's important for them to, to zone because if they go man to man, then there's that free player. This will be a roll out here. American team will get it off the Oh, they're net. making a sub. Let's see if it pays off. That sub came on pretty quickly to make, make himself available. And again, you can substitute at any time. Indonesia making a sub. The sub that just came on for the U.S. He's got some fresh legs. He's... Everything's been a sprint. Just over three minutes left to go here. Indonesia was down six to one. They've trimmed the American lead to just three. Great save by the American goalie. Indonesia keeping up the pressure. They just over the crossbar. Obviously, it's easy to say, okay, the player that scored the most goal is the player of the match. However, in this second half, it's got to be the goalkeeper on the American side because Indonesia could have easily tied this game had this goalkeeper not made some big saves. Well, it really has been a tale of two different halves here as the Americans dominated the first, Indonesia's dominated the second half. But can they get enough goals to, to get back, either force penalty kicks or take the, the lead here? Indonesia's got to find some more shots, though. The, the, the clock ticking down. They've got to make sure that they get some shots off to even have a chance of winning this game, or at least tying it. Let's play, no, let's play, let's 
shoot the three on two again. The crossing pass. Nobody there to take advantage of it. The USA on the attack. And on that Indonesian attack, that's where you saw that not being able to enter the crease makes it difficult to make that backdoor run. Yeah, you, you really can't have any crossing passes in that street soccer. You just can't follow inside. Another big save. American goalie's come up big here in the second half. Sure, he's given up a couple of goals, but he's made a lot of tremendous saves. What a, what a, what a goal. I think that might have uh, ended Indonesia's momentum there. Yeah, finally, USA on the board here in the second half, but with the four goal lead and a minute and a half to go, it's gonna be tough now for Indonesia. Oh, what a strike. You can hear the power from all the way up here. And if I'm the U.S., I'm moving the ball, keeping it. Just go ahead and run the clock out. Yep. Time on the side of the Americans. The other thing, too, is you want to limit any chance of injury. And so, you know, the more fast pace you have, then the more more injuries that can that can occur. Obviously, let's manage the game. If I'm the U.S. I'm, or the, and I'm their coach, I'm saying, hey, let's manage the game. Let's get out of here. Let's don't fatigue ourselves when we don't have to. Under a minute to go now, Indonesia has to force the issue. U.S. making another sub. Shot on goal and another diving save by the American goalie. In both games, the American goalkeepers, in the, men, in the women's game earlier and the men's game now, the goalkeepers have played a tremendous role. How about that shot on goal? That was a great shot. Right the upper right-hand side of the goal, and the USA is gonna win this one now. All the goals by the US, exciting goals. A lot of power behind them, clear opportunities. And, and that's gonna be the biggest thing here too, is capitalize on your chances. Put the ball away when you can. And there's the whistle, it is over. The USA men have opened up. 2023 Homeless World Cup with the 8-3 win over Indonesia. So the USA men and women both winning as the host off to a great start in this tournament. Yeah, this is great. You know, you see the women walking away with three points, the men walking away with three points, putting up some good goals on both sides. And so this should give them momentum moving forward in the tournament. No question, have to feel good about what they've done here in Sacramento. Here's some highlights from the, here's some highlights. Indonesia in the second half got things going again. They were down six to one. They scored the first two goals of the second frame. And it looked like they might make a great comeback. Yeah, but the US goalkeeper had a lot to say. Hey, you might've scored two. However, I'm gonna make sure that you don't score any more with some of these big saves. Yeah, the American goaltender was able to come up big and then the USA got it going again. Yeah, and once the U.S. found that first goal in the second half, I think it, it kind of took the wind out of the sails for Indonesia. So the U.S. victorious, eight to three, as you see the big lefty shot right there, up and in. And if I'm if I'm watching the U.S. and I play them in, in the group stage here, I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do you limit these shots? Gonna be tough.